Let's see, we need two, two volunteers. Who would like to volunteer? I'll volunteer. Jan. Who, okay, Jan, you'll be number one. Another. I'll volunteer. Is that Betsy? Yep. Okay, thanks. Good morning and welcome to Morning Devotions with the community of St. Andrews in Glenwood, Maryland. Uh, my name is Paul Beers and I will serve as leader today. If you are new to this service, know that you are welcome to participate fully. We are recording this service so that others can access it at a time convenient for them. Let us begin. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. Let us pray. Insisted <laughs> God, by night and day you summon your slumbering people. So stir us with your voice and enlighten our lives with your grace that we give ourselves fully to Christ's call <coughs> to mission and ministry. Amen. God is my life and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? God is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? One thing I have asked of you, O God, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in your house all the days of my life, to behold your fair beauty, O God, and to seek you in your temple. Hearken to my voice, O Most High, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. You speak in my heart and say, seek my face. Your face, O God, will I seek. We are told by scripture and tradition to confront our faults. We are called to be completely honest with God who is present in us and to acknowledge our failings with humble hearts so that we experience forgiveness both by granting forgiveness to others and by accepting the gifts of Almighty God expressed in our life. Merciful God, you are the source of our relationships and the unlimited basis of all. Help us to recall the teachings of your prophets and saints that by the means of true humility, our lives may always be refreshed and restored. And in order that we might begin life anew as co-creators with you of every moment of our lives, we offer this acknowledgement. We recognize that in our blindness, we have lived self-centered lives. We reflect on the actions that we should have taken but did not take. We consider the acts that we have performed that we should not have. We have been estranged from you, Heavenly Father, although you appear to us in the love of friends and family. To heal that breach, let us envision ourselves as compassionate people that we should be whose every action is an expression of Christ within. We commit to right those wrongs we have committed to the extent they can be corrected. We forgive ourselves of those wrongs that cannot be remedied, not in selfishness, but to free ourselves to become the people we can be. To everyone who has wronged us, we forgive and forget their faults. We put aside our injuries and any desires for redress. We accept unconditional forgiveness from our loving God and we give it freely to all whom we encounter. For no one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us. For God is love and those who abide in love abide in God. The boundless is our home strength. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth be moved, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, God is a river in which every stream is joined. God is in our midst and shall not be moved. People rage, their kingdoms are destroyed, but when we open ourselves to the divine unity, 
all that is earthly melts away. Come, behold the works of the immeasurable. Then our conflict shall cease and our weapons will be broken. Be still and know that I am God. Glory to God the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. This morning we continue our readings from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. <clears throat> Only live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent and hear about you, I will know that you are standing firm in one spirit, striving side by side with one mind for the faith of the gospel, and are in no way intimidated by your opponents. For them, this is evidence of their destruction, but of your salvation. And this is God's doing, for he has graciously granted you the privilege, not only of believing in Christ, but of suffering for him as well. Since you are having the same struggle that you saw I had, and now hear that I still have. What word or phrase uh, piques your interest or curiosity this morning? Standing firm. Striving side by side. It reminds me of us. He graciously granted you the privilege yeah. of believing in Christ. That was mine too. Suffering for him as well. No way intimidated by your opponents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it through uh, again, and this time uh, uh, reflect on. Uh, uh, how this uh, reading may affect your lives today or this week. Reading from Paul to the Philippians. Only live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent and hear about you, I will know that you are standing firm in one spirit, striving side by side with one mind for the faith of the gospel and are in no way intimidated by your opponents. For them, this is evidence of their destruction, but of your salvation. And this is God's doing. For he has graciously granted you the privilege, not only of believing in Christ, but of suffering for him as well since you are having the same struggle that you saw I had, and now hear that I still have. Here ends the reading. How might this affect your life today or this week? Oh, being oh. by the privilege not only of believing in Christ, it's a privilege. I continue to see in Paul's letters a uh, focus on community and how important, um, I think how important our community at St. Andrews is to me and the broader community of faith uh, in uh, this time of uh, great unrest in our country and in our world. The word privilege caught my eye too and with privilege comes responsibility there's a lot to do and uh, it's not going to be easy
other thoughts or Okay, let's uh, move on. I'll read the oh, second yes. psalm. Second psalm, okay. <clears throat> Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us affirm our faith. We're not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And also, yes. let us pray. O oh God, your spirit of wisdom was present at the creation and with Jesus at his baptism. Open our hearts to that same spirit and strengthen and guide us to love and serve you and our neighbors through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus, you are the light of the world. May your light open our eyes to see those in need. Jesus, you are the light of the world. May the works of our lives demonstrate your love. Jesus, you are the light of the world. May your wisdom enlighten our decisions. Jesus, you are the light of the world. Hear the prayers of our heart. Are there intercessions or thanksgivings this morning? Safe, uh, travel. Lifting. Safe travel for Carol and Robert. Uh, for Buzz Bruner and Mary Ann Galley. For my sister, Terry. For Robert and Carol and their journey to uh, California. <clears throat> May we be light for others. Almighty God, kindle, we pray, in every heart the true love of peace and guide with your wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility your dominion may increase until the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love. <clears throat> through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray as our <clears throat> Savior Jesus has taught us. Unfathomable God, ground of our being, we hallow the names we give you. Open our hearts to your kingdom. Teach us to be thankful for our daily bread. Help us to learn that we live in forgiveness to the extent that we forgive and deliver us from self-centered existence. For only by living in compassion and freedom from selfishness, may we experience your kingdom, your power, and your glory. Amen. <clears throat>
Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be with them. You will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.